the risk of mental health problems in the working population in the industry is in all probability rising. The difficulty is we don't measure it. Um, as an industry, we measure everything to do with safety. When it comes to the mental health of our people, we do very little. Uh, there are pockets of excellence. Uh, individuals and organisations have decided to do something, but there's no overarching view of what's going on. Uh, the analogy we look at is fatigue risk. 10, 12 years ago, it was known to be a problem. Um, the industry came together for pilots particularly and generated guidelines and, and policies and rules and regulations so that we could monitor and mitigate the risk. Um, our view is that we need to do that for mental health and well-being, uh, both from a personal perspective of looking after our workers and also uh, in terms of managing safety risks that can arise from mental health problems. You know, there are the black swan events, um, obviously German Wings in 2015, Alaska Airlines in 2023, which make the headlines. Um, and that's very good at attracting attention. What we're concerned about is the systemic problem of mental health problems, not just in pilots, but in all of the safety critical stakeholder groups. And as an industry, what are we doing about it? Um, the answer is generally there is a, a, a sort of a, a momentum building in that direction. But at the moment, there's no real coherent approach uh, equivalent to what happened with fatigue risk. And I and some of my colleagues believe there should be.